Welcome, Lipsy's Guns fans. Next to Jason Kloster, I'm Rob Abrazino, and we've got, uh, well, I'd like to say a pair of aces here on the table today, but it's really more like a full house, and we'll get into that in a minute. We've got a couple Christensen Arms rifles. We actually debuted at SHOT Show, probably the hottest ticket at the show in yeah. our booth. I mean, these these things were, they, they didn't sit on the shelf I got tired of all. grabbing them off the rack every time Absolutely. I walked in. Absolutely. You know, we go through our warehouse and, and you see these things on the belt going out every single day. I mean, these these things really move. But, uh, you know, these, these rifles are unique in their own right. Christensen Arms is, is known for that. Uh, but of course, you know, we, we wanted to get a hold of these and, and, and do our Lipsy's exclusive thing. So Jason, let's talk about what some of these features are and some of the differences are and, and what we've done. Well, the obvious thing that we did is we changed the color scheme. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the, traditionally they have done a black stock with gray webbing or a green stock with kind of a tan webbing. And we've kind of always liked the, the look of a gray stock with black webbing, so we reversed that. And I really think it looks really good. It's fantastic, um, yeah. You know, the, re the feedback we had at SHOT Show was like, oh, that's the one I want. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we didn't want to just leave that alone as it was, so we decided to go ahead and have the action and the muzzle devices uh, Cerakoted in a matte black. So it really gives it a nice, sleek look. Absolutely. Um, kind of a black and gray thing going. You know, people at the, at the SHOT Show kept calling it the Batman gun. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was like, okay. It's, it's stealthy. It has yeah, a stealthy Yeah, it has a feel. stealth look to it. Yeah. So, um, But so it really looks sharp. Uh, we added the oversized bolt handle to it. Um, a little easy, it, easier with a glove on. A little bit easier to handle with the glove on. Mm -hmm. um, looks really good on there. And it's not so big that it's, you know, it's catching on everything. So mm -hmm. I, I think that was a good addition. You know, they come with the uh, with the muzzle brake or the thread protector cap, so you mm -hmm. have your, your options there. Um, Car carbon fiber. Well, the, yeah, the Ridgeline's big selling point is a carbon fiber wrapped barrel. All the rage. All the rage right now. That is the hottest thing in hunting rifles that is out there. And it really does work well. I mean, the, the, the you get the, the stiffer, heavy barrel without all extra weight. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, these guns shoot. I mean, not just from... Oh, I heard it or I read it in a magazine. I've got two of them personally, and both of them will shoot under half an inch pretty pretty much all day long with multiple different factory rounds. Right, right. Um, we been talked, really we, impressed. We talked them also into uh, changing up the base plate just a little bit. Yeah, too, right? yeah, the floor plate, you know, traditionally just have the Christensen name on there. Mm -hmm. And we thought, man, they have a really cool logo. Mm -hmm. So why don't yeah, we maybe is. put that on there? Right. And it's actually timed to the, to the, to the one on the bottom of the bolt handle. Yeah. So I thought that was a pretty cool touch. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, they blacked out the lettering on the on the barrel, right. so it's it's a real stealth look to it. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's get into calibers. So what uh, what kind of offerings do we have here? Well, we've got a few different options there. We've got the 6.5 Creedmoor, the 6.5 PRC. We've got the 300 Winchester Magnum, the 300 PRC, and the 28 Nosler. That's basically our five best-selling cartridges uh, in right. the Christensen lineup. And so, you know, that we figured, well, we'll start there, and then if it goes well, we can always add to it. Um, you know, we weren't just satisfied, though, with just the color. We actually had some features that we wanted to change as well. On the 6.5 Creedmoor, on the ridge line, instead of the 24-inch barrel that comes normally, we had them cut it back to a 22-inch barrel. That's this gun here. Right. Little handier. It's not quite as short as the 20-inch gun that they also offer, so it's a really it's kind of an in-betweener. Probably a, the best of the all-around uh, right. barrel lengths for a 6.5 Creedmoor. On the 300 Winchester Magnum ridge line, instead of the 26-inch barrel that they normally do, we had them put a 24-inch barrel. So a little bit, again, a little bit handier. Um, you know, if you put the brake on there, it's not so long anymore. Right. Um, you know, for hunting in thicker timber and stuff like that, it, it does make a difference. Um, now, now the 6.5 PRC, the 28 Nosler, and the 300 PRC still have the, the, the standard barrel lengths that normally comes on them. Right. We did one last little twist, no pun intended, on the 28 <laughs> Nosler. Um, instead of the normal 1 and 9 twist that they put in the rifling, we did a 1 and 8 twist. Now, a lot of guys are wanting to shoot the really heavy bullets. You know, mm -hmm. the Burger makes some extremely heavy 7-millimeter uh, bullets now. Uh, Hornady does as well, mm -hmm. lots of other uh, companies. And the 1 and 8 twist will help really stabilize those heavies that are really popular out west. So that's also available in the Mesa as well. So if you get a 28 Nosler in, in our exclusive, it'll have a 1 and 8 twist barrel. That's fantastic. There's, I hope you were taking notes there. Uh, you know, we've got so many great configurations of this gun to kind of fit whatever your, your shooting and hunting style is. You can go to lipsies.com or lipsiesguns.com. Look for our dealer finder. Punch in your zip code. Find a local Lipsies dealer near you, and you can order one of these up. I mean, this is, this is a, a bucket list rifle. So until next time, aim higher.